Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about the universe and how it works. Let's talk about the multiverse. Let's talk about these shock jock radio hosts, these internet personalities, these personas, these individuals who think it's their duty to provide information or present it in such a way that folks are supposed to be fearful or scared. These fear mongers, man, what they do is terrible. It, it really is. And it's unnecessary. I've had conversations with scientists, engineers, technical experts, subject matter experts, people who work in special operations. I've talked to people in the intelligence community, the military, governments from around the world. I've lived in international locations and I've attended five different universities. If I just kind of randomly met someone on the, you know, at a lounge and we're having a conversation and uh, it's just kind of random and this person, you know, meets me for the first time, this person doesn't know who I am. This, this person doesn't know my, my educational or academic background. I could speak very loosely. I could use colloquial expressions. I could, you know, talk in a non-standard English manner and way. And I could present myself as if, um, I were someone who was very derelict and, uh, someone who's part of, you know, the community of motherfuckers who, you know, that are just completely fucking, uh, uneducated, undereducated. I could present myself in such a way. So these bloggers, man, when they fucking, when they get online and they start writing all this shit about what they think and what they believe about global world events and whatnot, wh how are they sourcing their information? Because it seems to me, first of all, I've been part of the remote viewing program. I, I was part of that. I have been part of that. I've been an ongoing member of that community. And let me explain that to you. Let me, let me tell you what that is. What is a remote viewer? I mean, what are you doing when you remote view? I'm sure you've heard of remote viewers. You've probably read something about remote viewing now, that the Internet is at the level that it is and information is global. Uh, yet before, it was considered fringe and taboo, and people were like, oh, that's impossible. That shit's not for real. It's totally fucking for real. The Department of Defense has been using remote viewers since time immemorial. The shit goes back to ancient civilizations. People have been able to use anomalous means to remotely cognitively view certain information out in the spectrum of multi-space. In other words, in multiple dimensions, people are able to view multiple future outcome scenarios on different timelines. And that is a fucking scientific fact. That is a science fact, fact of science, and it is not a work of science fiction. Yes, science fiction incorporates that, Stargate, people traveling to alternate universes and dimensions and whatnot. But, albeit notwithstanding, in the very real world, remote viewing is a fact. So that said, again, if someone were to just kind of randomly have a conversation with me, they don't know me from Adam. They don't know my certifications. They don't know how long I've been in the realm world of science. They don't know how long I've been studying and researching. They don't know what I've done. I've worked at different places that they don't know about. I have worked at different facilities that they don't know about. I've been involved in programs and projects of which they have no fucking clue or idea. And yet these bloggers go online and they write all this shit about what they fucking, you know, think is, you know, the presidential elections and economic this and financial, you know, the government, fucking all the, you know, the the gold isn't there anymore. These people are not really applying any kind of analytic method other than just some random shit that they're coming up with. And... A lot of it has to do with their own personal bias, man, the shit that they believe. So let me explain how that works. When you remote view, you are using a method. You are applying a method, a technique. You are applying a certain prescriptive measure in that you are taking steps in a process that is very scientific. That is what you are doing. You're not just randomly spewing forth some information like, you know, global economic collapse in the government and, you know, the, the fucking black helicopters and they're taking our rights and all this shit. You know, you can say that forever, man. You can fucking say that. You can keep changing dates and times. You know, uh, back in July of 2015, uh, the, the government and their, you know, police militarization. Police agencies are going to militarize. That's what they're going to do as a natural part of the universe. That That's a natural process. That's what happens when motherfuckers are doing crime and they have serious firepower. The police need to up the ante, raise the bar, and they need to increase their own level of defense. Defensive measures are taken to make police agencies more effective and more of a greater good against evil. 
So, you know, the militarization of police forces is not illegal, it's not unconstitutional, it's not the end of the fucking world, it's not some dire shit, it's what people do when they're protecting themselves against motherfuckers that are trying to do some stupid shit, man. A lot of people just want to live in peace, man. So, so let's talk about that. So you have these dudes on the internet and they're talking about, you know, civil unrest and, you know, riots and all this shit, you know, that they always fucking talk about. They're always trying to play on your fears, dude. They're always trying to hype some shit up. Go back and look at the shit that they've been talking about for fucking decades. Go back and look at the shit that these motherfuckers have been talking about. They've been talking about the same shit forever, 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 and forever. And this past year, 2016, on this timeline, these dudes are talking about the summer of this and, you know, the summer in in all this shit. Dude, the summer's motherfucking over, dude. It's over. Now, we're going into the fall. We're going, it's autumn, dude. So, look at the shit that they talk about just in that particular instance. The summer is over. And Anonymous, supposedly, supposedly Anonymous, because Anonymous has been hijacked by individuals, third parties claiming to be Anonymous. Obviously, people know this if you pay attention and observe this phenomenon of Anonymous. If you talk to individuals who uh, seem to be in the know about what's going on, the word on the streets is that Anonymous was taken over a long time ago by the U.S. government, by governments around the world, the British government, European government, Russian government. The world governments have taken over Anonymous, dude, okay? And and that's right out of 1984. So if you read the book 1984, it pretty much tells you, man, that the Resistance Network is pretty much fucking owned and operated by the government because if you're gonna, if you're gonna disrupt some shit as a government, you have to pretty much become part of that to do that. So that's what they did. And so a lot of what you read is disinformation in terms of what Anonymous is supposedly broadcasting. And then in addition to that, you have these groups that are posting all these motherfucking videos on YouTube. This is Anonymous. And it's all this convoluted shit that those groups aren't even Anonymous. The, the, the groups that I'm referring to, the ones that have hijacked the Anonymous title. They, they have taken that, that group title and they have said, this is our organizational name. We are with anonymous, blah, 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 blah. Those motherfuckers aren't anonymous. They're just not. And so, as I indicated, you have two things going on. One, the government has infiltrated anonymous because that's what governments do. And so there's a certain amount of disinformation and surveillance observation on part of government that is pretending to be, purporting to be anonymous. So, so some of what you see coming from Anonymous is actually the government pretending to be Anonymous. Then on the other hand, you have these dudes that know that Anonymous isn't what it used to be, and so they're pretending to be fucking Anonymous, and they're just some motherfuckers in the public that are making up all these stories about all this shit. Now let's talk about fucking remote viewing and what has been known by remote viewers. Al Bielik. Al Bielik was a military government contractor. This dude was part of the Philadelphia experiment, and he went into hyperspace. There is documentation that this took place. There is evidence that this took place. This dude is not making up the shit that he fucking talks about. The shit that he talks about should be looked at by individuals who both don't know of him and who have heard some about him. Even individuals who have researched Al Bielik need to go back and pay careful, close attention, closer attention to what he's talking about. Science... The, the, the community of science has decoded on some timeline that the past is not static. It is malleable. The past is malleable and is not static. The past can be changed. That is a science fact. You can fucking argue until your face turns blue, cows jump over the moon, pigs fly, Whatever idioms you want to use, whatever superlatives and adjectives and statements and phrases and remarks, you can fucking try to rebuttal the fact that I just stated. It is a fact, science fucking fact, that the past is not static and is malleable. That is how remote viewing works. When you remote view, you are seeing not necessarily this timeline, you are viewing multiple parallel other universes of information the outcomes that remote viewers have seen are not necessarily final outcomes on this timeline they are observed for certain reasons within the natural universe if you can see the future on any level you can change it by way of retro causation you can get involved in science technology engineering mathematics which is what everyone ought to do this world here in order to 
make that leap to the next level of the Kardashev scale, in other words, advanced civilizations, check out Michio Kaku. Check out Professor Michio Kaku and what he talks about in terms of the Kardashev scale and the Kardashev level. That's where this timeline needs to go. This world doesn't need to be submersed in water, man. That shit doesn't need to happen. And here's here's why. We can prevent that from happening. Now, you may be saying to yourself, man, that's fucking impossible. You know, natural events and nature and the universe, this fucking planet can just become flooded. Sea levels can rise. Yeah, that that's true that that can happen. But by the same token, there are remote viewers who have seen future advanced Earths on this particular timeline. They have seen this timeline as a future advanced planetary system with the most beyond your fucking imagination level of beyond state-of-the-art technology. So that's here on a frequency, and that can be achieved. But in order to do that, we have to move in that direction. We have to build cities that float, which is possible. And I don't give a fuck with these structural engineers, some of them, and all these dire predictor, predictive motherfucking types talk about. Because if you look at scientists or people who report to be scientists or they claim to be scientists or they claim to have something to do with science, they often change their stories. They go back and they're like, oh, well, you know, we used to say that beta carotene, you know, uh, was bad for you, but now we say it's good for you. But then 10 years later, we're going to say it's bad for you. And it goes back and forth, man. Here's the reality of it all. When you look at remote viewing and what's known about remote viewing over time, going back in time, going forward in time, remote viewing is legit. The past is not static. The future, past, can be changed, altered. As long as humans provide the proper input into that system, you'll have that output in the calculus. Okay, it's the X, Y, Y, X coordinate system. As you know, it's Cartesian in nature, it's multidimensional, and it can be changed and altered, and time moves both forward and backward. Okay, motherfuckers who say it's impossible to go both ways in time, that shit's not even true either, man, and I'm telling you, I know that shit for an absolute scientific fucking science fact. You can travel forward in time, and you can travel backward in time. I've seen the evidence, I've observed it, I know it's true, regardless, despite contrary to whatever motherfuckers, you know, claim. And so, that said, listen listen to the shit that these people talk about on the internet, man. The economic collapse, the blah, 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 the shit is micro-controlled. It's micro-controlled by entities that want for this shit to exist, and it will continue continue to exist with humans on it okay the stock markets are not going to crash they are not there is not going to be an economic collapse that narrative is fucking stupid world war 3 ended in 1991 google it world war 3 ended in 1991 the narrative that these people are trying to sell you is some biblical shit man they're trying to and when i say biblical shit let, let me be clear about that i'm talking about they are using artifice and there are fallacious and apocryphal in nature i was born christian i'm not i'm not anti-christian i'm not against god i'm not against the bible i'm not against jesus christ the thing about the bible is this man the bible was written by humans and it's their loose interpretation of natural phenomena that they humans observed around them at a time that they were trying to explain through a series of different stories the bible you can believe it is 100 percent true every single word in that book that text that data set is absolutely 100 percent incontrovertible true you can believe that however there's mathematical data that states that there are like 48,000 approximately I said like to use the colloquial there are roughly 48,000 different versions of the Bible so in that you have to understand that if you are to believe that the Bible is 100% accurate true to an absolute T which Bible are you talking about which one of those 48,000 different derivations and variations of uh, permutations are you talking about because there are 48,000 different ones the Bible in and of itself in my view as I have observed it to be is full of truths and untruths the Bible is true in that this universe is designed by a master almighty architect sentient God entity universe system it was created by a master designer God for sure there's no way around that evolution is not true if you read the book Darwin under a microscope, you'll see it's called irreducible complexity. It's just that simple. If you just met me randomly and you don't know what I know and we're having a conversation at a lounge, you don't know that I know about irreducible complexity. It just rolls off my tongue just like that because it's in my long-term memory because I know about it. It's not some shit that I just fucking read about yesterday. Evolution is not even possible, man. There, there are entities, creatures, beings, life forms that adapt over time. They are adaptive. Uh, 
and they adapt to the environment, but that's not evolution in the way that evolution is taught in schools. Evolution is fucking fake, man. It's phony. It's bogus. It's made up. It's not even fucking for real at all. It's a lie that was injected and inserted into society. So what the reality is, is that humans were put on this planet, and that is a fact. Human DNA was manipulated multiple times so that humans could be more robust, more effective, and better at what humans do on this planet. And that is not through some kind of evolutionary process that was random. Because if you want to believe that evolution is true, then this is what you, this is what you, you believe. There's no way around this. The following is what you believe. You believe that these life forms that you see around you, humans, animals, they came here fucking randomly. They just materialized fucking randomly. And, uh, then through some set of events, some series of fucking events, they randomly permutated, morphed into what they are now. And, and that's, that's after Hundreds of millions of years, and you don't even know the actual time, geologic, geological timeline, chronology of Earth. So you're supposing and presupposing that what you're, what you're saying, which are proselytizing and extolling and presenting in the way of information, you're, you're, you're saying that you're, you're purporting that, that the following is true. So over, we'll say hundreds of millions of years. Let's just say hundreds, of, tens of millions of years, whatever, whatever kind of arbitrary, ambiguous time you want to fucking make up for your story to, to pretend that it's true. Over millions of years, these random permutations eventually adapted. Where are the fossil remains for every one of the over one billion species of life forms that live on this planet? Of the animals. Let's, let's just make it an easy number so that we can all just work with an easy fucking number. Let's just say randomly that there are one billion different species on planet Earth. Well, the evolutionary theorist motherfuckers, they want for you to believe that if you take just, I don't know, just a wild cat, okay? There's just, let's just you know, take a wild cat, for example, and consider that. We'll take a wild cat. It doesn't matter what kind of fucking wild cat. Just a mother, a, a lion, okay? You have a lion, and it started as some primordial soup in some fucking ocean sea water system of water, and it crawled out of there as some amoeba or some, you know, single-celled organism that eventually, eventually became over time some multi-cellular life form entity, and then it became a fucking wild cat. And then, after it was a wild cat, it became an even better, stronger, better, stronger, more effective, more robust, better lion over time. <laughs> All right, so that's their fucking story. That's what they're telling you. But where over the millions of years are the fossil remains for the millions of these different permutations of wildcats that took place? When it was going from being some some clump of bacteria in the sea where are the in individual intervals of fossil remains from when this thing was, was morphing into this wildcat? Because certainly for every one of these species, you would have millions of different permutations of these fossils, of these different life forms before it became a fucking lion. And so that doesn't exist, and it's not real, and it's not true, and it never was. Evolution is fake, man. You were sold a fucking lie. So back to what I was saying about the Bible. Yes, I believe that the Bible is true in that the events that were observed by humans were real events. Humans were seeing things happen that were supernatural, paranormal. In in the view of humans, humans saw these paranormal activities taking place. They're like, oh, that's fucking out of, you know, the ordinary. That's paranormal. That's That's different, strange, unusual, very extraordinary to say the least. And so they wrote whatever they could muster, and they're like, this is what took place as far as I can observe it. And this is in the context of human understanding on that timeline back whenever that, you know, those events took place on the timeline of timelines. So, I mean, really, you believe every fucking thing that you read in a book that was written so long ago to a T, and there are 48,000 different versions of it? I don't believe every single thing. But I certainly know that this universe was designed. And here's the other thing about the design theory. Uh, it's not a theory. It was designed. And people don't want for you to know that when you believe in intelligent design, in other words, the universe was designed by an intelligent entity, God, master, architect, designer of it all, they want to negate God 
in your dissertation of the intelligent design theory. They're like, yeah, intelligent designers, they're totally against God. They remove God from their equipment. No, no, I I'm not even an intelligent design theorist. What you are saying in that context is not real. It's not true. It it's egregious and fallacious in and of itself in what you're saying to try to counter what the intelligent design theorists are saying. When you try to rebuttal what they say, when you try to disregard what it is that, that the intelligent design theorists are saying, they're not saying that there's no God. That That's not what they're saying. They're saying that God created the multiverse, that it was one singular, unary, unary, one entity, one God mind that created the entire multiverse. And then within the multiverse, God gave entities, beings that God created the dominion, the power, the domain in which to create other life forms intelligently designing them. That's what intelligent design theory states and is about. So it doesn't discount God. So you can see motherfuckers out there with their agendas trying to have you believe some fucking made up shit. Okay. And, and, and it's sad that people would hijack the Bible, man, with their religious dogma and try to lead you to believe these false notions, these falsities, these untruths by way of the Christian religion, because the Christian religion, man, I love it. It's a great story. It, I, you know, I don't have children, but if I had children, I would tell my children the story of the Bible because I went to Sunday school and I'm telling you as an adult, I don't believe everything in the Bible, but I think it's a good story, man. I believe Jesus Christ was a good person. I'm not, I'm not against Jesus. I don't think he's coming back to earth on a lightning bolt. He's not, he's not silver surfer, man. Okay. That's, that's just metaphorical. It's allegorical. It is a, a story that we teach children so that they can have morals and a good sound minds. They can have, understand virtues and love thy neighbor. That is the goal. That is the intent. That is what that is about. So Christians perhaps adopted and did, and I'm saying that not facetiously, but Christians did adopt certain pagan religion and incorporated that into the Christian religion. They took pagan practices rather to be technically exact and, and they incorporated that and they made them something different to uh, support the Christian religion. And I don't see anything wrong with that because I was born Christian and though I don't go to church per se, I'm a spiritual person and, I, and I'm very spiritual in nature and that doesn't discount what goes on in the multiverse. So going back to what I was saying, when people talk about shit like World War III, World War III ended in 1991, man. It was the end of the Cold War by all military civilian intelligence definition. What I mean by that is this. The military has its definitions, its criteria for what constitutes a world war. And in that context, if you look at what transpired, what took place during the Cold War, that was World War III, man. And James Woolsey, former director of Central Intelligence Agency for the United States, government for the U.S. In other words, James Woolsey, former DCI of CIA, said very clearly, and you can Google it, that World War III ended in 1991 at the end of the Cold War, and I know that is an absolute fact, because the military is telling you, the people, that the Cold War was the end of World War III. It ended in 1991. And when I say the military is saying that, what I'm saying is the definition of what constitutes a world war is that exact definition. So I, I, I've said it so many times, man. I've blogged it. I've talked about it. I've shared that information. The former DCI, James Woolsey, he said the same thing, man. I cited him when I said that. So if you don't believe the military definition of what constitutes a world war, you're fucking stupid. You're just a fucking stupid asshole. Because why are you giving the military your tax money for all these analysts, thousands of them, to say, well, as military intelligence historians and professionals, experts, subject matter experts in every conceivable field of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, this would constitute a world war. And James Woolsey's like, well, from the CIA's perspective and standpoint, in terms of what constitutes a world war in line with the military department of defense definition thereof, thereto, therewith, uh, yep, the Cold War was in that equation, context, in that definition, in that set of information, that was a third world war. It just wasn't nuclear. That, that was World War III, man. So what the fuck are you doing on the internet talking about World War III is starting? It's not World War III. It's World War IV. The U.S. intelligence community has motherfucking told you it's the global 
war on terror. The, is is that World War Three, motherfucker? It's it's G Watt, G W O T. Google it, read it for yourself. You don't you don't seem to be paying attention to what academia says. You just seem to just be kind of making up your own shit to fucking try to scare people, man, with your fear mongering. All these dates, all these times, all this shit you talk about, all this biblical prophecy, yada yada yada, dude. You're just trying to scare people, man, to sell fucking CDs and presentations, dude, and literature and merchandise. Seriously, bro. Oh, you guys that are doing this shit, man, you're scaring kids, man. You're scaring people who, who, who don't know any better, man. They have weak minds, some of them. Some people are feeble, man. They're senior citizens. Dude, you need to seriously quit the fucking fear mongering. You need to stop it, dude. You need to quit it. You need to go back, dude, and reevaluate the bullshit that you're talking about, dude. The global war on terror is World War Four. And world governments are winning against terrorists and terrorism. And that, that's a fact. It, it is true that the world will become more Orwellian with mass surveillance and whatnot. But look, man, what, what the fuck do you want, man? You want to just tell your story and wishfully think some bad shit into existence, dude? You talk about it can't be stopped. It can't, yeah, actually it can be, dude. That, that's what the military's for. That's what science, technology, edu- uh, engineering, mathematics, and higher education is for, are for. That's what private sector, defense, science, intelligence, research is for, okay? It's it's not for you to live your life and partake of all these worldly delights and be all fucking rotund and you're all jolly and but you've lived a good life and so now you want to go back, now that you've lived your life, you want to go back and you want to start telling all these people, the end is near, the end is nigh, and you know, the doom and the economic collapse and the gold that's no longer exists. Dude, the economy is controlled. Read the Washington Post piece on Secret America. Read that shit, dude. Go back and take a look at that. This country is controlled by scientists. It's a known fucking fact, dude, in intelligence circles, that outside the purview of the government itself as a whole kind of organ of organs okay if you're looking at the organs of government and you want to con- you want to think of that geometrically if you look at the government as a large circle with all these little circles inside it there's another government that is our government outside that sphere okay there's another government and it controls what goes on and it's a handful of scientists dude and they know what the fuck is going on so they control the markets dude and they're not going to collapse man they're made to withstand the test of motherfucking time yeah dude there was this crisis with the housing market and you could go back and look at the asian crash you could go back and look at the stock market crash the shit's controlled now bro so m- maybe you don't know that cuz you don't study mathematics maybe you don't study science technology engineering like you think you do or like you talk about but dude seriously man you need to fucking quit all the shit you're talking about dude because the shit and when i say all the shit you're talking about i'm talking about the counterproductive shit you talk about i'm talking about the counterproductive shit you talk about i'm talking about dude is that all you can see in your mind all you can see you're like hitler all he could do is destroy shit that's all he fucking did okay you talk about hitler was this evil person he was an antichrist i think he was too he was terribly fucking evil on the maximum level of fucking evil but dude think about what you're doing too man all he could do in his fucked up twist the dark, evil, fucking maniacal, sinister, deleterious, malevolent mind is be unbenevolent. The dude was fucking not, he was a misanthrope. He's like, everybody's got to die because that's all his brain could do. That's all his evil fucking mind, system, body, evil, soul, fucking darkness could do is just destroy, destroy, destroy. That's, that's what you're doing, man. You're talking about the end, you know, and the economic collapse and shit. Is that all you can think of, dude? Is that all you can muster in your mind that, that, you, you, your story that you keep telling fucking people over and over again because dude let me tell you this man there are people who don't believe your story and they're scientists they're technologists they're engineers they're mathematicians they're remote viewers dude and they don't believe your motherfucking story that you keep trying to tell people man you know why because they use their minds to see beyond the narrative that you're trying to fucking tell people so that you could sell your CDs and your fucking brochure or whatever, give out your fucking merchandise or get some donations or whatever the fuck you're trying to do, man. You're not really, dude, what you should be doing is talking about this, man. So, I see that these countries, man, they have some issues with each other. China, North and South Korea, Russia, and America need to come together, dude, and need to work together, man. We need to come together and just be wor- a world of scientists, man. We need to be like that uh scene in Star Trek where Spock is on 
Tolkien, and he's in that room, that chamber, that facility, where there's holographic mathematics on the fucking walls all around him, geometrically spinning in the fucking air around him, dude, and he's learning how to do advanced math. That's how every child on this planet should be born, dude. You should be born in a chamber with all kinds of intel from the human matrix of civilization being beamed into your mind, dude, so that when you grow up, you're not a fucking piece of shit, man, okay? Then we could build cities that float. Then we could build any fucking thing to withstand anything. Let me tell you, if you think that shit's impossible, dude, there are videos of alien advanced entities clearly flying into the sun, sun, a fucking sun, to collect plasma, chilling for several hours, dude, collecting plasma, and then they just cold jet out at the end of their plasma collection session okay so they came out they went into the sun and came out of the sun unscathed dude talk about a solar flare dude they're in the in the fucking sun so maybe you don't know about what's really going on but dude this shit is controlled bro and unfortunately people with your personality type man you fall for the shit dude you're being observed by entities that are watching to try to figure out who's doing the fear mongering man that's how this shit is designed the system is watching system controllers are watching you tell your stories dude about this this that and dude they're gonna make sure your stories don't fucking come true to make you look stupid so you might as well just quit now redact what you're talking about bro because seriously 